um, to a simple tutorial on how to switch views in Xcode. All right, so go file new project and view based and iPhone because we're gonna be doing it on iPhone. I'm gonna call it switch switch on desktop. All right, so make it a little bit bigger. You would want to go up into your switch view controller H and actually we're gonna add a button um, IV action we're gonna name it um, page one and after that we're gonna do ID and then to sender right there so that does page one all right page two we're going to um, we're actually gonna leave that and we're gonna go control and click click on add and add file and we're gonna add a UI view controller controller subclass and make sure this is ticked no else boxes but the last with XIB for user interface click on next and we'll name it page 2 um, view view controller right there and click on save and drag your XIB file into resources where the other XIB files are stored. All right. Now we're going to import um, the file. And what the hell just happened? All right. We're going to import, and we're going to write page two view controller dot h. All right. Once we've done that. We can write IB action um, page one, I believe, and then ID and sender right there, and open brackets and close brackets. Now I'm going to hit enter twice and then type in page view controller start um, we, you can name this anything I'm gonna name it um, I'm gonna name it one and equals to bracket bracket and page two view controller we're gonna implement the second view controller into an allocation stage and close bracket in it with uh, with uh, nib name and it's gonna be nil and bundle well, let's see if we need a bundle bundle no I don't think we need a bundle for that code oh what the hell what happened all right close bracket and cool hit enter and new line bracket bracket and write self present model view controller and we're gonna call it um, what we called it here we called it one so we're gonna call it one and animated well we'll say yes all right now I think that's all the coding that needs to be done now we're gonna build and run we haven't done anything in our um, interface builder right here. It will just come up with nothing because we haven't done any graphical design to it. So um, we'll go to switch view controller right here, and we're gonna change the background to red, or let's make it. 
red, and we're going to add a button. And we're going to write load view 2. Alright, and we're going to go to click on files order, make sure you do that. And then second into the connections tab and click on page 1. And touch up inside. You've done that. Now you can save, quit and save and open up page 2 we're going to add a label saying page 2 or we can write welcome page 2 and we haven't implemented a back button but we're just going to write back alright and if we click save run and go it should work alright see load level 2 and as you can see welcome to page 2 now if you want to implement the back it's basically repetition right here so here you want to go back into here actually go here and we'll copy this line of code and paste it here and we'll write back and we'll go in here copy it and click enter and paste it but we're gonna write switch oh what did I do switch view controller and switch view controller again you might want to change that to two I don't know if it does any change though, but just to be on the safe side. And also, we're gonna import it. Don't forget to import. Switch view controller. Um, make sure you call um, whatever the delegate is. So, <clears throat> I would put switch controller because that's the page I'm loading and basically uh, that's it and if you go build and run again to save the code that we just created load that and the back button isn't implemented yet so we need to go back into page two and click on files owner and click on back drag it over here and touch up inside go now quit and save and we can build and run. Load view 2 and welcome to page 2. Click on back and oh the application crashed. You must have done something wrong. How? Oh here we go. Uh, right here we didn't change this from page 1 actually. If we click here. This is page 1 here. That is not the button. The button is called back. That is what we have done wrong. Alright. It succeeded. Load view 2 and back. And there we go. See, in iPhone development, you make a simple mistake like that. Copy and pasting. And you get that kind of error. Alright, so this is a requested tutorial on how to switch a view. Hopefully you guys use my tutorials. And that's it, guys. Thanks for watching.